up YouTube got another knife for you this one is headed out to California to one of my inspirations in knife making um, sheath is a uh, olive drab kydex and I'm gonna make a titanium uh, belt clip for it tomorrow Hopefully that works out. Um, this is CPM 154, 530 seconds. What is that? Is that a scratch? Is that just a smudge? Nope, just a smudge. Okay. 670 carbon fiber. Stainless steel pins, drilled holes for the moon, or not moon glow, uh, glow in the dark here at night. Taper tang, uh, jimping, and checkering. This was uh, in my first video I did. And it looks very aggressive, but it's actually you know not that bad it just gives you just enough grip but if you're not you know really bearing down on it it just slides across and then you have this bigger choil you know I like bigger choils if I do a choil so I can actually you know get my finger in there with uh, checkering all the way up it's a I don't know about a three and a half inch blade uh, hand rub satin and uh, mirror polish. I'm usually not a big fan of the mirror polish but since I started doing it I really like it as it seems to cut better and it does look pretty nice on the correct knife. Whether this is correct I don't know that's up to you guys but I think it looks good. And unfortunately when I was sharpening it yep I forgot to tape the blade and I scratched it. Awesome. <sighs> but you live and you learn. And I won't be making that mistake ever again. It feels real nice in your hand. You can, I mean, really bear down on it. And it, no hot spots. different grips. The only grip it's not really good in is this grip right here. Because I make I made this so deep so your hand cannot slide forward. You see how it wraps around back wraps back around to your hand. And I guess I should show this glowing. Everybody likes to see that. I know I do. And you can really see that taper tang when the lights are out and that's glowing. I like that. Looks nice. Maybe some closer shots. The edge is uh, 
I think around 25 thousandths to here and then the tip gets thicker the 30 thousandths I don't like a super super sensitive tip and I know some people don't like it when it gets thicker at the tip but I personally do I'm rougher on knives so probably should have cleaned this a little better before I took the video but yeah. gives you a basic idea and then the sheath actually took some doing to get this done with uh, without having it scratch I mean I worked way too hard mere finishing this <laughs> to let this scratch so I made sure you know I taped the blade really good and really cleaned out the sheath you know make sure there's nothing in it before it went in and this is actually going to get a a titanium belt clip to go with it because I just don't like those cheap ones like I, th I don't know it's a, it's more work but I figure you know if you're depending on the pricing of the knife you're doing you should you know do a custom clip I mean you get them on folders so why not fix blades and anybody wondering you know flashlight HDS rotary I don't know if I was going to get that question or not, so. Mm, deer skin. Just to give you some more contrast here. And it is sharp. Get some paper I cut up. I can't, you know, do it perfect, but it, I thought it's pretty sharp. You just have to take my word for it on that. I don't think I can be able to cut. Well, I don't know. Well, shit, why not? I'll give it a go. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. This was not a good idea. Well, <laughs> well, now I'm just making it look dull. And it's even harder look, trying to look through the viewfinder and do this. I don't know. Maybe we can try it this way. not working. There we go. Alright. Let's stop that nonsense. I'm going to cut myself. Here you are. Let me know what you think.